Hi fellow crafters, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Terry from NutsAboutStamping.com. A couple of weeks ago, I attended Stampin' Up's on-stage event, sort of like a wild and crazy crafting convention. During the event, I swapped project ideas with other demonstrators, and one of the demonstrators gave me a cute treat holder idea, along with the instructions on how to make it. Shall we give it a try? For my treat holder, I'm going to use the Notes of Nature collection. The stamp set has images of leaves and teeny flowers, a page from a field journal, and images to add stamped texture. The dies include leaves and flowers, and you can use the long die on your cardstock so that it will look like it was torn from a ring binder. I am so sad that this collection, including the designer series paper and the embellishments, are going to retire at the end of April. So get it now if you love this bundle and the entire collection as much as I do. So I want to start off by creating a couple of embellishments for the front of my treat holder. And I'm going to use this leaf die from the Notes of Nature die pack. And I'm going to die cut two using pecan pie. And on the back of each one, I've used some of our adhesive sheets so that it'll be easier to adhere these embellishments down on the card front. So I'll die cut these out and I'll be right back. Now the next thing I want to do is stamp a phrase from the Notes of Nature stamp set. And I'm going to stamp just a little note to say hello. And I'm going to use my tuxedo black ink and stamp this down and then now remember that i told you that i was going to share a new product that's coming out in the next annual catalog well i want to introduce to you the spotlight on nature dies look at these they're gorgeous and so I'm going to use this die because the rim around it will match the designer series paper that I'm going to use in a minute. So I'm going to die cut out my phrase as a circle. Be right back. Now look at that. I love it. I love the texture that this die created on this layer. So now it's time to create a fun fold that will actually become our treat holder. The treat holder base is going to be pecan pie and what I want to do is bring in my paper trimmer but I'm going to use the scoring blade on it and I'm going to score it at three and a half and then I need to open up the arm because I'm going to score it next at seven. So it's three and a half and seven. And that's all to it. Now you want to take your bone folder and you want to um, score on the, the lines that we've created to create almost like a little book. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this square and we're going to cut it in half diagonally. And that's what's going to create the pocket. So I'm going to bring back in my paper trimmer and I'm going to angle this so that this point and this point meet. So let me just get this all lined up. Now I'm going to use the cutting blade and I'm going to cut it off like so. And that is what's going to create my treat holder. Now, what I want to do next is take some of the designer series paper that I'm going to use, which is this designer series paper, and I'm going to cut this square in half diagonally as well. So while I have my paper trimmer here, I might as well take care of this as well, like so. I'm going to use one of the triangles on this project and the other one I'll have to use on a different project. So I've got this triangle that I've created and I want to use my multi-purpose liquid glue and I want to adhere this triangle down like so. So I'll go ahead and do that next. Now what I want to do is take the other side 
of the designer series paper and this is cut as a square and I want to put it on the front of my treat holder. So I will adhere that down next. Now I want to fold in this triangle and adhere only the bottom part of it down. And I'll do that using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I want to take my stamped phrase and I want to add it to my treat holder front and I'm going to do so using some Stampin' Dimensionals because I'd like a little bit of lift off the treat holder. Okay, I've got my Stampin' Dimensionals on there and now I'm going to add the phrase to the front. And now it's time to use our embellishments that we've created, these little branches. Now normally I would tuck my branches behind but because I have so much white space on the front, I think I'm actually going to adhere my branches on top of my layer, something like that. And there we go, it's coming along really well. Would you like to see another project idea that uses the Notes of Nature stamp set? If you would, then watch this video next. Now, when we're thinking about embellishments, immediately what comes to mind are these cork rounds, which are also retiring. So I'm gonna use a couple of these on my treat holder front. All right, so this is what we've got so far. What I want to do now is use the inside of the cover of the treat holder to create an opportunity to write a little message. So I'm gonna slide this out of the way for a second. I've got a piece of basic white cardstock and I've got this, I don't know, it looks like a weed <laughs> uh, from the Notes of Nature stamp set. And I'm going to use my pecan pie and I'm going to stamp it down onto this little insert that I'm going to add. Just adds a little bit of visual interest, doesn't it? So I will use my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'll adhere this to the inside. All right, let's have a look at the final product. There's the front, there's the inside, and here's the little pocket. What would you tuck in the pocket of this treat holder? Leave me a comment in the description box under this video and let us all know what you think would look really cute tucked inside of this beautiful little treat holder. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I got this idea from on stage when I swapped projects with another demonstrator. Do you wanna see what she created that I got this idea from? And here it is. Here's another idea for the exact same treat holder. And this was the original one where I had the instructions and decided to share it with you. So this demonstrator used ribbon underneath the designer series paper. And then when you open it up, you can see she's got a little note with a message in there. And then she had her treat tucked inside. I'm not gonna tell you what the treat is because I would love for you to generate a bunch of ideas in the description box comments under this video. If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the layers for this treat holder, I will link to my blog article in the description box under this video. You can link over there and you can get everything you need, including the product ordering numbers, in case you want to order the Notes of Nature collection before it retires. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.